Howdy everyone, this is Greg Uh This is the sixth time, seventh time, eighth time. I've tried to record this. Uh, had some issues with the recording. Gonna re try and record an opening again and see what happens here. So uh, let's see what you guys have missed. Uh, that's the, try to bring everybody up to speed. Uh, still have the nether portal here. Still have the Twilight Forest portal here. So, then over here, um, I have some Ender Lilies. I got those, um, took two stacks of bone meal to get two of them, and then I got the third one uh, just by growing those. And those give us uh, Ender Pearls. So that's, I believe that's new. Uh, red Orchids are doing well. Probably will trim those back a little bit. Uh, other thing is we've got um, the Refined, uh, Reinforced, sorry, on our Pulverizer and on our Red Stone Furnace. And so those are, will be going up to the next step here shortly. I was able to find some uh, blizz rods, so I can do that. Down here, uh, got 12 uh, solid fuel furnaces, furnace generators from Extra Utilities. And those are being fed round robin style uh, from this drawer right here. And then behind here, we've got our hardened energy cell. And that's working quite well, and it's completely full, all stored up, ready to go. So, other big thing we got, oh, it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Got a couple things outside I'd like to show you. Um, tool upgrades as well. Uh, got a Malium sword now, still uh, using the amber pickaxe. It works pretty well. Uh, I believe I had the uh, power four bow with infinity. That one's working extremely well. So, uh, one of the projects we were working on is up here. We built a uh, builder from RF Tools, and we cleaned this whole area out. Uh, only problem is we didn't clear out enough space. This is not big enough for the project that we were building. So if you come down here, whoa, don't fall in the hole. Come over here. This is the project we're building right here. This is what Dea has been working on. It is a Scottish manor uh, that uh, she's working on. Uh, quite the building. Uh, we've worked a little bit with chisel and bits on the roof, starting to do some of the detailing, but basically you've got the basic structure laid out, got some um, glass in place, some doors in place. And uh, over here, and this is what we're going to work on, is down here. Uh, I've sectioned off a little bit for myself, and this is where we're going to get the power generation. So we're going to get our oil burning over here, item storage over here, and then auto smelting and stuff over here. So, all right, all right. This is Greg FM. We're back. I've gathered up some stuff, and we can start making our uh, inscribers. Uh, first things first. To make the inscribers and to get started basically on all of this, the first quest here uh, wants us to make a, no, we already did that one, uh, the grindstone. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the quartz grindstone. And that is this stuff right here. So. Grindstone. Takes a wooden gear. So there we go, we got one wooden gear. And then, there we go. Also need to make a handle to turn it. And that should complete that. Yeah, there we go, complete. So back on that one, they also want us to make a charge quartz fixture and a light detecting fixture. So those are pretty quick and easy as well. Those items right there. The First one, the charged quartz, that's the recipe for it, just charged quartz and iron. Oh, I got the wrong quartz. I got the wrong quartz. That's okay, we got charged quartz. Um, so, charged quartz, iron, gives us two. The light fixture is nether quartz. Okay. So, um, that one's done. 
So we can claim that. Uh, now this is the one we're in. We need to get into. Uh, yeah, forever and a day. Um, hopefully it's a little bit better and they've improved it. But uh, to make more pure nether quartz, basically they try to make it easier for you by um, making a way so that you can make nether quartz and certus quartz. And by doing that, um, you use these quartz seeds. Uh, and that gives us uh, pure Certus Quartz Crystals. Um, and some of them do require the pure versions as opposed to just any uh, old item. Um, so these are obtained by dropping a seed in their respective crystal into a water block and waiting forever in a day. It, it's pretty bad. Um, since the grindstone can produce two or more dust per quartz, this can be the method of increasing quartz uh, crystal stock. So... Uh, we're actually going to use the um, thermal expansion. Now we've got some ground up here. So for that, and then uh, I don't know if I have any nether quartz ground up at this moment. I do not. Let's go ahead and grind some of that up because I think we'll need that for the seeds. Yep, so there we go. There's the Certus Quartz, and that's sand and and crushed. I actually saw some crushed quartz. There we go. So we do have some. So grab us some sand. Make one of each. So basically, that's as you see there. That's the one we did. Yep, you get two for the price of one. So that allows us to duplicate and make more. So we can take these back here. I got a little pool of water going. Um, let's see here. What did the book say? I can't remember. It says... These are attained by dropping a seed of their respective crystal water block and waiting. Okay, yep. So that's what we got set up here. So I also set up the crystal growth accelerators, and I, for the life of me, thought they could run on RF power, but it does not appear to be the case. So once we get our um, controller set up, then we can use the crystal growth accelerators. But at this time, we just have to hurry up and wait. Uh, looks like everything's going well here. Uh, while we're waiting on those, uh, the next one here is, we'll claim that one, so we get those pure crystals, is to make a Fluix crystal. Uh, kind of pretty similar. Um, you take a charged uh, Certus Quartz crystal and... Uh, Drop in a block of calm water with a one redstone dust and another quartz, and three seconds will be consumed. So this is a much quicker recipe. Uh, I got that stuff right here. I'm going to make a few of them. I don't know if I'm going to make that many, but uh, we'll just drop them all in and let the magic happen. So... So, well, where'd my... Uh... Oh, I accidentally magged him up. Okay. Turn all that stuff off. Okay, it looks like they're sitting in there. Okay, so one, one, one. See a little lightning effect there? Got that, so one, one, one. One, one, one. Okay. We'll end up having to throw our seeds back in, but that's okay. 
So I gave us six of those, so. There we go. Throw those back in. We just needed four of them anyways. So now we have the... Um, now, we got to always... Yeah, there we go. Crystal production 102 is complete. Grab the middle one. And that leads us to the charger. Um, so we can make that. And the uh, energy acceptor. Okay, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and look at the charger. I've never really needed the charger, but it's an option. So there we go. So we'll use two of our crystals. We need to save four of those. Luckily, we made a few extras and some iron. Let's empty out some stuff here. We don't need that stuff anymore. Don't need sand. Don't need that. We're done with that. Done with the lights. Oh, we're full again. Um, I'm just trying to look here and see what I can pull out of this makes sense to put it somewhere else yeah okay get rid of the flower baskets kept my wrench Wonder if these need a redstone signal. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Day is out exploring, so you might hear her talking every once in a while. She's a uh, working on some roots two stuff. Okay, there's our charger. And the other one was the energy acceptor. We will definitely use that one. Um, so quartz glass. Uh, so it does also take quite clear glass. I think I still have some quite clear glass. Do you? Nope, that's fused quartz. Okay. Oh, that's segment. Okay. Yeah, I left it back here. Okay, and looks like we probably should make some more of those. Use them fairly quickly. Notice our uh, little uh, seeds are a little bit bigger. Ah, the uh, astral sorcery stuff, huh?
Yeah, they're still at 0.0%. .0 uh, they just are really, really slow. That's okay. We've got plenty of the Fluix crystals, and you can do the same thing with the Fluix. You can uh, crush them up and uh, make a pure Fluix. And it says I'm missing the glass. So let's see here. Yep, there we go. And just wait here just a second because it should be finishing up. There we go. What? Oh, okay. So I take quite clear glass and then with the powder. Okay. All right. I got ahead of myself. There we go. So there's that. Oh, it looks like I could use glass glass too. Well, oh well. Got her done. And we definitely will use that. That's going to go down in our base in that hole. So, looking good there. Claim that one. And claim that one. Um, so, charge staff um, is a weapon that deals damage comparable to that of an iron sword. It differs from the sword, however, in that it consumes energy instead of durability. It also deals magic damage instead of physical, which means it can bypass most armors. A notable exception are witches who have a bit of magical resistance instead of armor. The entropy manipulator can set fire to blocks and mobs at the cost of energy. Right click on a block, left click on a mob. Uh, both can be recharged in the charger. So we're going to hold off on that one. That doesn't really help us a whole lot. The energy cell, and this is an energy storage uh, from uh, Applied Energistics 2 for that uh, specific thing, and that will help us. And then crystal production, we do have the um, growth accelerators. We got those, but we need to make the ME toggle bus is um, for turning them on and off. So let's make the ME toggle bus. And that is the cable. Uh, okay. So we're into the cables. I figured that would be next. So let's go back. We did, we need to come over here to the cables. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make quartz cable or quartz fiber. And to make that, there's the recipe right there. It is dust and glass. So we're going to make a few of these. And then the next step up is to combine those with our, uh, our inventory is full. Why is our inventory full? There it goes. What? Okay. So that will give us those cables. And these are actually the cables we want to use. So go ahead and make those up. Those uh, we can make into, well, let's go ahead. We don't have the lever. Let's make a lever real quick. So we make our toggle bus there. Piece of stone and a stick. Inventory is getting full again. Okay, toggle bus done. So, there we go, crystal production 202, 201. Um, uh 
Hopefully it gave me credit for those. Okay, just had to exit out. So next one we need to make is the covered cables. And they just take a piece of wool. And I have some wool here. So let's go ahead and make some covered cables. Make four of those. Okay, I am run out of room. There we go. So we got that. And hopefully it gives us credit for cover cables. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it's, it's waiting to give us, let's do the smart cable. Oops. So the one is you add uh, redstone and glowstone to make a smart cable. Still hasn't given us credit. Uh, okay. Grab a little bit more redstone. Let's get clean out a little bit here. Oh. Put that in there, that in there, that in there. Okay. Still, still not getting credit. Come on. Okay. Whew. And then finally, the dense cable is you just take four of whatever style cable you're making. Can I not make dense smart cable? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. Yeah, that's that's kind of okay. Just looking here real quick to see if there is. Looks like the only thing I can do with this cable is color it. Okay, so I gotta make some more, which means I need more wool. Hopefully it doesn't go completely stupid and make uh make it light blue colored. I mean that wouldn't be stupid, but okay. And for those, that makes the dense one, and then we can take this dense one with some glowstone and some redstone and make it a smart one. There we go. Okay, so the difference between the uh, smart and just the covered here, just to go over that, um, the covered cables are also basic tier and largely viewed as a crafting step towards Emmy smart tables. Some contest they look a little bit better too. So, um, so that's basically your your this look different. Your glass cables versus your covered cables. I. Typically don't use any of these. I just use the ME conduits from Ender IO. So, uh, but to continue on, the ME smart cables also connect up to eight devices, but they visually show how many devices are connected. And we'll go through that um, a little bit when we get we set up ours so you can see it. Uh, and then the dense cable is 32, uh, with the smart dense showing as well. The smart dense cable has a little bit of a uh, interesting factor in how it does it. Um, 
and kind of color coding. Okay. So we'll go ahead and claim those ones. Haven't made the battery yet. Oh. Okay, cable anchors, the wrench. And there we go. This is the one we've been trying to build up to is the Emmy controller. The Emmy controller isn't Oh, isn't actually needed for using AE2? Uh, really? Uh, okay. I've never built, I guess there is the kind of the dumb block um, where you don't, as long as you don't go over like eight channels or something like that, um, you can make a dumb network. Um, but I've, I've never done that. Um, so the first is that it's an energy buffer. And so that helps a lot when you're accessing and needing energy for your system. Uh, second feature is it's able to use the dense cables. Um, so you can get your 32 channels. Um, the third feature is a larger number of channels. Each side accepts 32. So you can go uh, up to 192. I've never needed that many, but you could. Uh, last feature is that the controller may uh, be a multi-block construction, adding... Um, more available channels, so you make kind of T's and rings, and um, so kind of deal. Uh, but yeah, that's we'll make that next. Uh, actually, I think we gotta get our inscribers done next. That'll be. Yeah, because we're going to need our engineering processor uh, to uh, make an inscriber. So that's all done. Got our cables. We've got growth stuff here. we got any room left in the mod box. We do not. Okay, let's grab all this. No, nah, all that. Start putting all this stuff up here. This this is why we're making this. Just in a bit here, we're you know after we grind through all of this, um, it's going to be very helpful to have uh, this in place, so that all the storage can uh, be made a lot more efficient. Okay, I'll hold on to that wool. So, before we get started on our inscribers, there was something else I wanted to build here, and I got that right there. I want to do a two ender storage chest. We're going to have a lot more of these, but for now I want to just make two ender storage chests, because that's going to help moving day go a lot smoother. So we got two of those, we're just going to make them white, and got those done. Uh, the cool thing about ender storage chests is they are linked. So, if I put something in this chest and you see they open together uh it's it's in both chests so i can take this chest maybe made of obsidian so it's going to take a little bit longer to break it let's move this chest where it's a little bit more convenient here let's move the pumpkin bye bye pumpkin okay we're going to leave one chest here and we're going to take the other chest down into the basement over there. And then Dea can dump stuff into the chest. I can just dump it into the A2 system where it'll be stored. So we'll just put it here for now. And then we can start transferring stuff between the bases. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we didn't quite get the inscribers done, but we're going to do those right now, and that'll be the last thing for this episode. So the inscribers are pretty straightforward. 
you do need sticky pistons for them so let's go ahead and make sticky pistons and then the recipe is a uh, flux uh, flux crystal and the iron and I have used all my little flux crystals so let's go ahead and grab some more of those real quickly that there that there let's see here let's make you make three more oh I always forget the other I think it was certus quartz there we go And instead of keep bugging that one, I'm just going to go out here because those uh, little breeder seeds are down there doing their thing. And it doesn't reset them per se, as far as I know. It's got to be a one by one pool. Why you know Zappy Zappy? Uh oh. Okay. Fine. Oh, I know. I'll go where it works. I doubt these crystal growth. They're they're offline. They don't have any power. So. Seems like this one better. Did I grab... It's charged, isn't it? That's the problem. That's the problem. Here's your sign. Hey, by the way, that shows you we've been doing all this other stuff and it's still the 4%. The crystal, crystal growth accelerators make this actually doable. Doing them by at this stage without them is just, it's silly. I am silly because I grabbed the wrong stuff. And so... There we go, we've got three. Let's go charge, try it out here now with the right stuff. Stuff in the middle. The white stuff. So. Okay, there we go. Now we got those crystals. And let's go ahead and make our... We want four inscribers because there is four... What'd I do with them? Right here. Yeah. Because there's four of these. So... We'll get those set up downstairs. do some testing with this um, it used to be and I think they fixed it but 
and maybe it was with refined storage and not with uh let's see here let's put them over here with um it may not be that way with uh, applied energetics so okay that one there that one that one that one okay so it used to used to be in and uh and like i say between the two different mods that you'd have to put you have to put it in on the correct side so to um, get this to work you had to put it in the bottom to get it in this slot and uh and that's how you made your things. You stepped in some poison water, huh? So we'll see if that's still the case. Um, I'm pretty sure those have to be powered, so we'll get our um, energy cell and all that but that's all gonna have to wait for a another day because we're out of time for this episode i uh, hope you all have enjoyed watching and uh this is great signing off <laughs>